This video is going to have a look at setting up a geometric recursion relation. So a geometric sequence is a sequence where each number is multiplied by a common term or a common ratio to find the next number. So each number in that sequence is multiplied by that same number. So this can be shown in a recurrence relation. And the recurrence relation we use is T1 equals A and comma T n plus 1 is equal to Tn times R. So what that recurrence relationship is saying, it starts off by telling us T1, which is going to be the first term. And A is whatever the first term is going to be. So it starts off with the first term, and then it says that Tn plus 1, which is the next term, is going to be equal to Tn, which is the current term, times by R, which is our common ratio. So what this recurrence relationship is saying is that starting at the first term within the sequence, the next term is equal to the current term multiplied by the common ratio. So let's have a look at an example of applying this recurrence relation to a question. So in our first example, we have a geometric sequence that is defined by the recurrence relation t1 is equal to 2, and then tn plus 1 is equal to tn times 5. And it wants us to write down the first numbers in the sequence. So we would be writing down our t1 term, our t2 term, t3, t4, and t5. So using that recurrence relation, I can see that the t1 term is going to be 2. So that is going to be my first term, 2. And then going back to the recurrence relation, I can see that every term after that, I'm going to be multiplying by 5. So that is what I'm going to do to each of these terms to get the next term. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 10 times 5 is equal to 50. 50 times 5 is equal to 250. And 250 times 5 is equal to 1250. And I can see that for each new term in the sequence, I multiplied the previous term by 5. And that is what the recurrence relation is telling us to, to do. So we'll now move on to a second example. So in the second example, we want to write a recurrence relation for the sequence provided. And the sequence is 768, 192, 48, 12, and 3. So to be able to write the recurrence relation, I first need to determine what is my common ratio. So I know that that's my first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. And to find out what my ratio is going to be, I can go T2 divided by T1. So that is 192 divided by 768, and that is equal to 0 0.25. So my ratio value is 0 0.25. Now I can also, if I wanted to, check that by calculating it using different terms. So I could have used terms 3 and term 2. So T3 over T2, because it's always the later term that goes on top and the earlier term down the bottom. So this time it will be 48 divided by 192, which again equals 0 0.25. So now that I've got my common ratio and I've checked it, I've done it twice, so I know that it is um, the correct ratio, I can go ahead and write the recurrence relation. So when I'm writing the recurrence relation, I'm going to start off with the first term. So T1 is equal to 768. So once I've done the first term, I move on to write the rest of the, of the relation. And it is going to be T n plus 1. So the next term is equal to the current term. So T1 times by the ratio, which is 0 0.25. So that is my recurrence relation um, for the sequence that was provided to us in the example. T1 equals 768, Tn plus 1 is equal to Tn times 0 0.25. So that's um, a couple of examples of how do we um, apply a recurrence relation um, to a geometric sequence.